What's up guys, it's AlecMac111 and I have two awesome products from Ace Tech. They actually just sent me two of their chronographs and two of their tracer units, so I'm going to go ahead and do a review on both of the tracers today. No use doing two different videos for the pretty much the same product and a little bit different package. But I have the Ace Tech AT1000, which is the bigger version, and then the Ace Tech Lighter, which I think is really cool. So packaging, just kind of normal. I think a lot of companies are going with that kind of like SAI, Ace Tech, very white. Um, it does catch the eye, really like attention, so it's just kind of cool um, packaging. But I brought my HK417 to show you what it kind of looks like on the end of a gun. Um, one thing that I'm really impressed with this is how light it is and how high the build quality seems to be. I'm going to be showing you some videos throughout of me shooting this while I'm talking about these different guns. And this thing is awesome. I mean, it looks cool. It feels good. And it shoots and does. It works incredibly well. Honestly, one of the coolest things in night games is tracers. They're literally so awesome. I've had a few here or there, but I've not played a ton of night games. And you guys probably haven't either. But it's really fun, honestly, just to go outside, grab your gun, and then just shoot um, some tracer BBs. But this thing is awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about some of the features. So they say that this thing, this single suppressor, can feed over 100,000 rounds on one charge. And so you have three or four AAA batteries that you use and you throw them in there. That's really impressive. They did say it's with Enelope four batteries. Um, I have just some Amazon basic ones in here. But still, 100,000 rounds, that's basically like you're never going to have to um, change the batteries, which I think is just really impressive. So you turn it on, um, it feeds in a, a counterclockwise thread, so you know, standard 14 millimeter negative counterclockwise thread. And then there's a button on the side, it's pretty simple, you put it in. Um, you can unscrew the top, so you'll screw it down to the threads, and then you unscrew the top, and so the batteries are actually held in here. And you have like a warning label, don't look at it, or a warning label, high voltage. You don't want to look at this light because it's really bright, um, and then it just kind of shows. And they actually have serial numbers on there too, which I think is really cool. And then this, so the thread on the suppressor, the suppressor threads to the gun are the opposite from um, the normal, just because it's, it's easier and you just kind of have to make sure you hold the base of that. It says it's going to sustain 30 rounds a second of fire, which is really impressive. A lot of guns won't push that unless you have them upgraded. I don't think there's like any stock guns. I think the highest stock gun is either the Crytac VFC Avalon or the KW Ronin. Those are like 25 with 11.1. 30c discharge lipo um, but all of the guns that are that i have shoot a lot higher than that because the sure shot midget has modded them um power saving standby mode so if you leave it on for a long time it'll go off it's got auto power off which is pretty cool low battery indicator i'm guessing it turns like a yellow or red um, since it's a green now it'll flash periodically green the four AAA batteries like i said um, and then it says it weighs 140 grams without it and i can attest to it that it is very very light but you know what's even lighter than that the ace tech lighter this look at this thing you even see something on the end of that gun it's basically like an extended flash iron i've honestly felt a lot of flash hiders that are bigger than this so same kind of idea except this actually has a rechargeable battery so all you have to do is unscrew this tip and then under the tip on the top of it um just the tip under the tip all you have to do is insert like a standard micro usb charger and so through that you just Put it, insert it in there and then it'll charge it. I don't know exactly, I've not tested the battery life on this one, but it does say that it's got a built-in 450 milliamp battery. It, it doesn't, it says it's like 12,000 rounds, but that's a lot less. But honestly, like with the size and just having that rechargeable battery, I think is awesome because if you have a rechargeable battery, you don't have to go buy other batteries and you, I'm sure you use like the power and electric and stuff, but you never really have to worry about this running out of rounds because you're not going to most likely shoot 12,000 rounds at a night game. If you do, that's pretty impressive. Let me know if you guys uh, <laughs> end up doing that. Um, but for the most part, that is not going to happen. Other features, it does come with a little clockwise uh, thread adapter so it's kind of designed to run on a pistol but I honestly would really like to run this on a rifle because of how like small low profile and light it is if I'm still maneuvering in between buildings and stuff it's not going to add a ton where if I use this 417 I mean I'm not going to be using the 417 at all for like building clearing but with this it adds another seven or eight inches in there so if you're maneuvering and moving around and stuff it's a little bit harder to get through doorways whereas if I were to throw this on the 417 or this on my 14.5 inch it pushes the barrel maybe another three or four inches um, and that's not bad because it's a little bit easier to maneuver and it's just like a normal flash header but maybe a little bit longer so I think the value for that is really good um, hopefully you guys liked the little shooting here I'm gonna go into a little bit more shooting just so you can see like a little bit more parts of it we are gonna try and push these uh, with 40 rounds a second and see if they will feed you guys should be able to tell the higher rate of fire um, based on the lower ones I'm not gonna talk about it anymore but we are also gonna try with this one it only shoots 10 rounds a second it says and so 
Um, you're not going to want to use this for full auto. This is going to be something that maybe semi auto spam. But I mean, with this little package, like you can't expect for it to keep up with like 40 rounds a second because that's just insane. Uh, but I'm really impressed with these. I'm guessing they're going to light the BBs up really well. I have not been able to shoot them yet, but it's getting really dark, and so I'm really excited. If there is a problem or anything, I will talk about that after the video, but so far I have been incredibly impressed with these products and really excited to use them, really excited to get to test them out. And hopefully you guys think the footage is cool. Um, go ahead and go get one of these. They're going to be at most retailers, I believe. Um, you can go on acetech.com if you want to do that, but I'm guessing they're, getting, they're starting to make their way around, so they'll probably be in most distributors and retailers very soon. This is testing the AT1000 at a highest capacity with 40 rounds a second and then a fast semi-automatic. Works. So it needs 40 rounds. Doesn't look like it's misbeating at all. All right, here is the Ace Tech lighter on semi and full auto on once again a 40 rounds per second gun. Looks like it's keeping up. That's faster than 10 right there. Try 40. So, skips like every other, you say? No, it's feeding. Eh, That's maybe. Skipping a it's bit. skipping a little bit. Yeah, it's giving a little bit. So I'd say like 20 rounds a second, probably safe? 25? Probably 30. 30? Yeah, I'd say. Semi's perfect. This has been Alec Mack 1 on 1, and I'll see you guys later.